So I'm planning to clean up my side of the wardrobe. The other side is my husband's wardrobe. It looks really, um, what do you call it? Organized, let's put it that way. Whereas mine, it depends on the mood, okay? There are moods that I'm quite particular of the order of things. And there are moods that I'm like, life is too short to be frustrated about wardrobes. So today is not that day. Today is a day that I'm feeling a bit competitive with my husband. So <laughs> I'm just gonna clean it up and then on another video, um, I might do something alongside of the bags that I have and I kind of want to filter my bag. Um, the ones that I want to use more often and then those the ones that I don't know if I'm gonna chuck more of my bags because I've done it before but yeah it's like something to put away so it doesn't have to be in my wardrobe closet but it can be in my study closet or something like that and maybe it's gonna be a thing how I organize my wardrobe. This is not a, <laughs> a tutorial of how to organize your wardrobe. It's more like, this is me telling my friends and family, hey, I'm cleaning up. <laughs> no, there's two people in this relationship who cleans up, not one. Cool. All right, so um, I was watching Sophia. Oh, I forgot her last name, but I'll put it here. Yes, that's her. So I watch her video um, in order for her to organize her room or her wardrobe closet with the husband but they had help but I'm trying to implement that kind of approach to my wardrobe so let's do this so um, in current situation these are these were supposed to be like only dark color uh, garments and then the white and then I just forgot how I put it but I want something like patterns all by itself white dark black or something like that there's more up there all right so how are we gonna do this this is just black coffee my husband is like, where do you put that coffee, babe? <sighs> In a safe space. <laughs> what I think I'm planning to do, I, I'll put everything out. And then I'll try to organize in terms of like a top, bottom. And then the top is like... I think I'll go with color just because I don't want to be that person that as if like I have all the space in the world for long sleeves, short sleeves, no sleeves, you know? Nightgown, whatever. But let's tackle these first. By doing this, I think I'm just gonna gonna take them out. Okay, 
so I've taken most of it out so the only thing that is left the very top one is these which I'm just gonna keep them on the top so you know like daily stuff is within reach oh I like face towels for washing my face because I don't know, I feel clean, kinda, and um, I'm trying to minimize the use of my cotton pads, which I think I'm pretty good at it. I rarely use cotton pads unless it's something really acidic or, you know, for peeling purposes or whatnot. I don't want to use my hands. I'm trying to move to cotton reusable pads. But then again, um, just need to study more about it. Just the fact that how much they absorb, how long do they last, um, what brand should I use, price point, and all that. So yeah. Okay. So I've put out more stuff from the shelf that you guys are on right now so the second from the bottom so these are my one of my husband rack which one of them is unused kind of tempted to use it for something but we gotta be fair in the whole thing about marriage and you know equality and all that so and leave it be <laughs> so um, I have these kind of bags um, just like around my life before I live here I used to live back in Indonesia and I used to um, travel so very often and I love these bags because it will make my luggage look neat and then it's really easy to like take it out and then put everything in the closet and then it's just it takes a lot of time out of time and stress out from traveling so i love these and i end up using these and i have some few that are just you know in a good use maybe in 2021 I don't know God will let us travel during 2021 okay so um, I divided by the type of attire or clothing items so top and bottoms and then I'm just gonna separate it uh, like color wise um, most of it it's already in that order um, you just need to figure it out like I don't know how to put these you know like these material looks fancy it's just H&M but like where do I put them how do I categorize them now I feel like I'll just hang them you know so they're not they won't be like yeah. I'm trying to remember when's the last time I went out shopping online shopping or whatever I can't remember I think the last thing that I bought it could have been like uh heat tech stuff so leggings and then just the thermals top um but yeah um i used to like to rummage in my friend's closet she and i we have the same top size and she used to work in retail so she has like abundance of stuff these are one of them and I often raid her closet when she asks like hey 
do you want to help me you know purge some of my stuff you can take them and then some of them she might donate it or something like that but yeah so i think i bought this this year i think from kmart it's a it's a long dress um viscous what is viscous i don't know i thought it was linen but you know that feel like that japanese um uniqlo clothing kind of feeling like for summer so i like this um i bought this in kmart because sometimes uniqlo doesn't have my size uh, this is my ultimate oh it becomes like a i don't know like me just showing off my wardrobe but i just want to show some of my favorite stuff this i bought this i don't know like maybe i think there's a possibility this is was five years ago or more um i bought it in sports girl um uh, i like them so it can be off the shoulder it can be like normal like that but because they have this thing i would wear it off the shoulder and it shows off my my tattoo here it's simple but it's fun it looks like a picnic kind of top don't you think i think it's perfect for that so for the patterns um some of them i'm gonna put it up and then some of like fancy looking or like pleats and stuff like that um i will hang them because might as well ah this skirt so this skirt has a cute story behind it i kind of like this kind of crazy pattern or colors back in the days i used to be like a very bohemian kind of girl i like to wear head wraps and i like chunky um jewelries i don't know if i still have like a video or a photo um but i used to like just very expressive in the way i dress myself and then this one this one uh it was my best friend's skirt i borrowed her skirt for my first date with my husband so during that time i was like i don't know i was so excited to go on this date um because usually i don't overthink about date like i'm a very i'm a very relaxed dating girl like if i go on a date i don't really care about how i look just because i just want to dress the way i'm comfortable in like i want to eat i want to drink that's how i perceive dates but somehow like it was one of those dates that we me and my girlfriends we were thinking about like what will i wear what will do how it's gonna go blah 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 i'm sure when my husband sees this like really that much yeah i don't know apparently so so this skirt i bought from my best friend um went out with this skirt and then it was a really great date it was like a whole day date that feels so it was like really nice and then we ended like um it was it was just nice okay let's just put it that way i returned it again to my best friend after that day but recently i think after i got married or something like that when she was you know rummaging to her usual filter of wardrobes she was like hey i was just wondering like i don't want to keep this skirt but do you want to keep this skirt and then i go like oh why like if you you know if you want to donate it blah 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 and then she's like no this is your skirt as in like you went out a date and you got married now to the person that you know saw this skirt at your date blah 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 anywho 
so this kind of reminds me of that day and then it's just a cute story behind this skirt I didn't bought it it's gorman I love it um, but yeah it, it it's always gonna be that additional of color with a story I just love a good story I'm just gonna keep it I like this swimsuit this is just all over the place but you know what we're, we're gonna have fun with it it's made by my cousin back in indo i'm gonna put her brand here um yeah this was made custom just because of my size and then before this i have the black one which is on this photo i love them but to be honest, I can't remember where it is. Either I given it to a friend or it's in my hometown, like in my parents' house. I don't know, but thank God I kept this. And this is like my go-to swimsuit. But yeah, and it's, it's just nice. Everything is nice. It, it holds on pretty well. It's been years, this thing. It shows that I haven't lost a lot of weight, but at least the way no, I, I gain a lot of weight, but you know what I mean. So guys, I'm going to organize this, um, fold things up, and then put it up on the shelf. So yeah. So these are my undergarments. Um, I think I like the position here. So this is more about like cleaning it up. Seriously, I've been on Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, this is taking too long of a time, but all right, continue on. So socks, undies, bras, um, mask, done. Um, like leggings, heat techs, stuff here, and then I'm going to put many options you know um, I think I'm gonna put my tops next to it yeah okay black do you get the flu the grace No, it's neat. I've got the white. Should I put the whites there? Nope. Put the whites here. This. Oh, you can't see it. So these. This is my wool top, and I don't want to hang them because I don't really like the, you know, the shape of the hanger. You know what I mean. So there you go. Then we're gonna finish the sides. There. We're gonna tackle that. Oh my gosh, you know what else I did, you guys? And I should have made this into a video. Duh, but now that I'm planning things, maybe I can. But I signed up for.
Okay, so basically, that's it. From the white to the blues and the black and other stuff like patterns and this um, pink one. And then over here and here is just the white. So it's basically just color coordinated the whites and then these are just the wood that is um, delicate enough to have hanger imprints on them if I hang them up and then these are just the bottoms and then the tops with color coordination and then just towels and then on the bottom um, those are just socks, undergarments, masks, and that's my winter socks, <laughs> and then my shorts there, and yeah, I guess that's it, that's how I organize my wardrobe, um, I do try to edit my wardrobe uh, from time and time again, um, the reason why later on when we move to our own place um, I don't want to be overwhelmed by the things that actually is no use for me or hasn't been used for a while and also I just like the idea of I'm not a minimalist but I do like the idea of just curating your stuff to suit your needs um, yeah um, I'm sure I can cut more off of my things um, more time and time again I don't feel I'm that type of person that I need to update my clothing in order to function if that makes sense like I think if you're someone that works in a very physical and visual form like if you're a designer if you're a model if you're an actress if you are a PR person I think a lot of times you are demanded to look in a certain way and to be updated and all that stuff but more and more, the work or the projects that I've done is just behind the scenes, sort of. So, I don't think I need to have new stuff. And the thing is, my weight has been consistent. <laughs> Which, I don't think that's great <laughs> at this point, but it's like I, I don't need a lot of different sizes of attires anywho uh, just want to share just want to share about me doing something that is just a daily chore and it's it's like having a friend you know like sometimes you just want to have a girlfriend next to you while you do your daily stuff you know usually I do this with my best friend back at home She'll help me out because I've been a really messy person all throughout my life and she's sort of like my marikondo. She'll be like, um, let's check out the things that you never wear or like, uh, let's put it where it's supposed to be put, not in a chair and then piled up. <laughs> but yeah, that's it I guess just so i'm gonna make that video i'm gonna say it the next video it's about bags so future amanda do bags after this all right awesome so toodaloo